Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today is with I'm here with another FGO video and this is a reaction to uh, learning with manga uh, the chibi like you know short animations that uh, FGO like put out like I've I've never saw all of them before so like I found a video where I'm guessing each and every one of it is there uh, it's a 20 minute kind of a 20 minute uh, or 20 minute plus video I think it's um, no, it's 15 minutes. It's a 15 minutes video. So like I thought like why not react to this and uh, obviously like the link for the original video will be given down below in the description box and also in the comment section uh, if you want to check the original video out be sure to do so and also like I'm not sure if this video like contains copyrighted materials if somehow my video gets blocked I might have to like you know change the like edit the video like blur it or I might have to like you know mute the vid uh, like audio in some uh, places I still don't know because I'm recording it now so like I might have to do those things so like that's just something that I wanted you uh, like to tell you guys beforehand so yeah so anyways um let's uh, get started with this video and um i'm quite looking forward to it because uh i've seen i think one or two of them but not uh, most of them this is like a 15 minutes video so i'm guessing there's a lot of them you know so like yeah let's just react to this i'm quite looking forward to this so without further ado let's get started with this reaction all right let's start Okay, this is John the Archive. Oh, there she is. She's, she's reading a script. <laughs> that looks so <laughs> Gudako's voice. That's true, you can... Wait, she's na naked? Learn everything about FG in this book. Oh, it has an opening as well? <laughs> they made an opening for this, wow. Roll it and roll it forever and ever. Come on, break that course and to keep going. <laughs> that sums up. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Her voice! <laughs> That, that's a reality, you know, of us players. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, is that... <laughs> Arthur is playing. What's with Gudako? <laughs> Damn, Arthur is. Wait. <laughs> 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 Sometimes she is throwing Pokeballs. Oh, those are empty gacha capsules. I thought those were Pokeballs. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
指導を吸わせてたらし込むという作戦ですよ。ハルトロさんみたいなね。ガイドで取り合わせてるってことです。<笑> I'm gonna talk about this. Like, I felt like this before. Oh, no. Oh, is that. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> You're evil. I've seen this one. Oh my god, this one is. Gudako? <laughs> Gudao, uh, what, what, what are you doing there? <laughs> I also don't have him in my party. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. I know what. <laughs> It's true now, you know? <laughs> Gudao was right all along. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is saying what is this falling from the sky? It's basically that, you know, we have to like keep like this, like they give like one or two saint parts, like during the maintenance and stuff. Oh, Nero is here. Natural eyes harvest. What? Yeah, you're not you're using the syrup. What the hell? She's riding an eggplant. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no, no. Altera. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one. These two are the only ones I've seen, as far as I can remember. <laughs> yeah, but why seven? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> true, that's true. It's a gift from God. <laughs> gift from the development team. Oh, I've not seen this part. <laughs> what the? It'd be better if it was five. True. Oh, it's because of the Exactly,、no. Oh no. What the? Good, I'm 
about this thing you know like a lot of games the gacha games have the skip button like you know or like this batch you know batch auto farming type of stuff but fj does not do that i think it's kind of unique in a way you know because you have to be engaged in the battle and at times it's kind of annoying i mean their protagonist <clears throat> what the hell what should VR? Oh, that thing! Oh. What? What? <laughs> oh, damn! Wait, what? She was... Her degeneracy... Her degeneracy is... Out of bounds. Oh, no. Oh, my God! Come far. <laughs> oh God. Oh. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, true. <laughs> She's so relieved. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Like, oh, Bunyan is here. What? Yes. I'll, I'll check that out after that. <laughs> Alexander and his <coughs> Oh <laughs> That's true, Nasuram has enough books Puppies Oh okay <laughs> Damn, what's with the illustrations? Oh, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> Damn! Jan is tanky, so she could take it. <clears throat> Did she hand her over another? Oh! Oh damn. Yeah, you forgot. But this Tamamo is the different Tamamo, like you know. <laughs> oh no! 
With a boring Okay. Oh no, she's not listening. What? Who did she bring? What? <laughs> oh no, okay. <laughs> oh my god, what was this? Is, is that the end or is there something else? <laughs> What's with Al Altera dancing? Yeah, that's it. Wow, that was something. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I've seen there's like a lot of like, uh, you know, I think, I think videos where like they kind of like show like Guda, uh, Gudako is like the ultimate evil incarnate or something, you know, like she's even stronger than <laughs> like with Goitia and everything. Like, uh, was that, was there like a, a April's Fool illustration where like, uh, Gudako was like holding him by the throat or something. I think so. Um, I have to check it out again. Yeah. <clears throat> so this, I think this is like a, a running joke of FGO. Like Gudako is like the, <clears throat> you know, like the ultimate victim of the whole FGO hell. Like you know, the whole gacha hell. And <clears throat> like she has gone down that path like so much that like she is completely like <clears throat> she's the strongest being. You can say it. <laughs> so like I can see where that joke comes from. Like the way they did the animation, not only the animation, the <clears throat> especially Gudago's uh, voice acting. Oh my god, that voice acting was something. Wow, like you know, <laughs> and um, also the whole like um like Gudako is like the person who is like you know like always like fusses over Mashu and everything and then like like wants to roll gacha and all like kind of crazy but uh, as far as I could see Guda O oh, the like he like his like quirkiness is like his uh like obsession with Astolf <laughs> Astolf <laughs> um like the whole like five star Astolfo like uh, saving his grail for him and all like uh, i think that was like a deliberate thing that the developers did like they had plans on making a five star stuff at that moment so i think like it's just something that they put at that moment like you know in that uh, ch short animation and uh, later on they like brought it uh, like you know brought stuff as a five star servant and <laughs> yeah and another thing that uh, i kind of saw is like <clears throat> the like uh, when tama was talking about um, mas masters like that was like you know um now we, like, obviously like i know that tamamo and all of the like other heroic servants for example who we have seen in you know face day night uh fade extra and extella and all of those things uh they are like an alternative version of the like you know the servants that we're seeing here in fgo and like they're not the same like the arthur from face day night is not the same as the arthur that we are seeing in fgo like you know like they're different entities so like that's why like i think there's like also like a huge um thing with shipping where like a lot of people kind of ship like you know arthur with muramasa and like parvati with muramasa and because like you know uh, like ishtar with muramasa because of rin uh, saber and like um sakura because like the, the vessels and there's like a, a like a certain group who kind of say that oh like why are you shipping them like because like they are completely a different entity like you know like like muramasa and 
reach that they like have no connection in the like you know fgo story so why are you shipping them eh? and it's like a lot of things like uh, people kind of say that like oh like we are shipping them and like a lot of there's like a certain a group of people who say that you should not ship them because they are like acquainted in uh, fate fgo is a completely a lot, like a different thing so like all of these kind of things so like, uh, like i was quite curious of that and i kind of like checked it out like what was with the like different like you know like how are they different and as far as i could understand the uh like fgo is like i think I, I, i'm guess i think like it's like a parallel universe i'm guessing so from the fate like you know the, from the fate universe so so that's why like uh the servants who are summoned here are like you know kind of like an alternative version of those servants like a parallel like you know universe version of that servant something like that so that's why like they're not the same and obviously like uh rin like in ishtar is like a mixture of rin and uh ishtar like you know is rin as a vessel and ishtar as the god who was you know summoned into her vessel uh, because obviously you cannot uh like summon divine servants like who are like completely divine so that's why like you have to like make like you know like summon them in a vessel like it's like a pseudo servant thing so that thing so like that's the reason why like uh like there's a lot of people also say that like ishtar and rin which is completely true in my opinion as well like ishtar and rin are not the same so anyways like i'm going into complete different thing so yeah and so that like at that moment when tam tam was saying like oh like which master are you talking about like to jan and jan was saying that like uh like you're saying like you want to like you know like get settled down with master which master are you talking about Tom said what like we only have one master what are you even talking about <laughs> and then like at that moment i remembered all the time that she spent with what's his name hakuno wasn't it like hakuno in <laughs> fate extra <laughs> oh my god and <laughs> poor hakuno i don't know if we'll like get like we, we obviously got uh like you know shiro as a servant like kind of like because he's like muramasa uh i'm curious like will they bring hakuno as a servant as well like you know kind of a pseudo servant or something mm, i'm guessing they will probably i'm not sure I'm, it's just something that i think they will probably do because they brought Karen. Uh, what's her name? Ka Karen or Kalen? Uh, that girl from uh, Hollow Ataraxia. Um, like they brought her, and I, that means they'll probably bring Buzzet as well. I'm really looking forward if they bring Buzzet. You know, uh, Buzzet in uh, FGO. Her name was Buzzet, wasn't it? Uh, Lancer's uh, uh, like original master, uh, the lady who like wears a suit. She was also in Hollow Ataraxia. So <clears throat> I'm. Like if if they bring her also in this game, I'm definitely ruling like rolling for her, whichever servant she is, you know, be it four star or five star, and all. So yeah, and <laughs> this video really proved the degeneracy of Gulako. Oh my god! Like <laughs> the whole VR, like you know, the VR video where like she was like when when Olga Marie thought that like you know like she's like watching uh, like Marsh as a VR but uh, just a second where was that portion but Guda here it is like gudako is uh, okay well yeah gudako is a bit too much she <laughs> what was she what did she say here just a second here it is okay it's an amazing game that lets me place play as the ideal mash <laughs> i <l> <laughs> So what she's doing here is she is <laughs> imagining herself as a marsh <laughs> and fantasizing of marsh um y you know like doing those stuff to her herself that's some next level degeneracy and i love it <laughs> that that is some next level degeneracy i've never th thought about it like that you know like Gudako gave me a completely new perspective on this whole thing. <laughs> oh my god, that was something. Wow. And yeah, like Gudako is like the like chaos incarnate. Like <laughs> and damn, this is fun, I have to say. Like um they like I, I don't know, I, I'm I sure they like do they make these type of animations still? 
I'm not sure. I, I hope they make it them. Because this is really something uh like creative and really funny. Like, you know, like it, it like like this proves that they know <laughs> their audience well. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole <coughs> gacha hell thing like you know when uh, altera goes back uh, like go to the, goes to the future and sees what's happening and everything and uh, all and oh also another thing i wanted to talk about is like the whole auto battle system like i've thought about it you know for quite a while like you know why does fgo not implement this auto battle system that majority of the gacha has like you know like in most like i've played a lot of gachas <clears throat> most of the gachas there is a thing where like after you three star a certain like you know campaign or certain thing like you know uh, from the next time you can <clears throat> like you know spend tickets like they give out tickets like you know weekly or something you can spend those tickets to like you know sweep that uh, like you know sweep that level so that like you can just like it's like uh, a you know press of a button you can skip the whole battle and you'll get the farming materials and which is really like makes the uh, like you know it's really time consume uh, like the time uh, consumption really reduces because of that i've thought about it like why do they not implement that uh, i think like in fgo that like implementing that will be a bit difficult because like you know there's like fgo really requires strategy it's not that like those type of gacha games where you like oh like you got a like you know got a character you just like like <clears throat> deploy it in the battlefield and that's it like they auto battle everything like you know those auto battle type of games it's definitely fgo is not like that you can wipe the whole battlefield with a one star servant in fgo you know <laughs> like like you know like uh like that is the type of game it is and you might like you or also like uh, if you are not like properly equipped and you if you're not properly prepared with the strategies even by using like five star servants you can lose that same like you know battle uh which you might like you know win by using a one or two star servant like this is fgo so because of that i think uh, the whole implementation of this auto battle system is a bit difficult and at the same time i'm sure like <clears throat> You know like this also makes it a bit of like you know unique in a way <clears throat> like and most of the times while like you know farming or something during farming where there's like this kind of uh extremely easy farming battles or something when i have to like uh like farm for those uh xp cards and i don't know what you call them ember no those are xp cards yeah uh which you use for leveling them up uh, most of the time i kind of like you know keep my phone over here do my own stuff what i'm doing and like i just like randomly mash the buttons i don't even see who i'm attacking with because i know i'll win <laughs> you know like those are extremely easy battles so like farm during farming i usually do the like i do it like that like i usually do some other thing which i like you know should be doing and like keep the phone in my side and just randomly match those buttons and like you know get those like farming materials and everything so like it's like i can at, at that moment i kind of think that oh like if we had some kind of auto battle system it would be so good you know like these kind of like farming like you know mindlessly like <laughs> it's quite boring at times but the actual battles are quite fun so yeah so that's just something you know and <clears throat> And this is also the whole thing with when there's like no back button. I remember those days, like, you know, when like, <laughs> like when I clicked on the attack button and there's this like those command cards come up, I remembered, oh my God, I forgot to do this. I forgot to like, you know, uh, do the attack up or something. You could not like back out from that uh, during those times. And it was such a regret, like, you know, uh, and <laughs> now like we have that, like we have the back button, which really helps, you know. And I don't know why they did not implement that before. Like it was quite a long while, you know, uh, after that they implemented the whole back button. But anyways, we have it now. It's all good. And excuse me. And another thing that I really want is like some kind of Olga Mari servant. You know, like we've got so many servants. So uh, why no Olga Mari servant? I don't know like I really want like uh, like you know her as a servant or something like you know related to her like it feels like uh, we don't even like we just like met Olga Marie in like the first like in the Fuyuki like level and that was it like no more nothing about her after that oh so, yeah <laughs> 
that was fun you i have to say like i was not expecting it being so chaotic you know the whole chaos thing with gudako was something that really surprised me like gudako is like the you know like the incarnation of chaos <laughs> oh god and yeah that's basically the whole like you know the whole like uh, fgo audience like uh, how like gudako was like doing can i like roll gacha can i roll gacha like i'll, I'll roll the gacha i'll roll the gacha that's basically the audience and <laughs> and also like spending money and everything and like you know going bankrupt and all <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just seeing if there's anything else that i wanted to talk about mm. No, that was it. That was a fun, like, you know, fun video. So, yeah, guys, that was it. That was this, uh, the rea my reaction to FGO uh, learning with manga uh, animation. Obviously, I think they, uh, like, still uh, make the manga panels of these, like, you know, I, I think these, like, were animated. Uh, like, these few, what can I say, like, I'm guessing these had manga originally and they were animated later on i'm not sure if they do these type of animations still because uh these seemed quite old you know because with the whole uh a stall phone uh like not having a five star thing so that was quite a long while ago so i don't know like i'm not sure if they still do it if they still do it uh i'm i'll probably going to check the like you know the new ones out later on I'll have to search if they have done like you know anything except these like these i've seen today so i'll have to check if there are some new ones or something so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was uh my reaction to this video and uh like in the next week i am not sure what i'll do like uh, if the new event starts which is uh the, the lady rhinus case files uh, i think it is called that uh, uh, like starts uh, in the next week uh, like by the next week i'll probably make a video on that or if like it does not start the next week i will probably do something else you know so like uh, when like you know the certain events come out i'll not do the reruns but the new events that come out i plan on doing them and also like uh, the whole like summoning of different servants and all and other things you know other like reactions to other fgo videos or like um like you know making some kind of uh mm -hmm. like tier list like you know why i like i had a saw, saw a comment in my video someone saying like making a waifu tier list i also had that in mind so like doing those type of things as well like i'll do it if there's no events i'll do videos like that or reacting to videos like that if there are events i'll probably like cover the events so yeah so and also like uh there's a playlist in that will be linked in the description and also like somewhere here so like if you want my other fgo videos you can click on that playlist you'll find all the fgo videos in that single playlist it will help like you don't have to like like search in my like massive video feed you know <laughs> like because i like upload video every day like it might be a little bit difficult to find out my fgo videos so that's why like i did the playlist thing so yeah you can like click on that and you'll find all my fgo videos so yeah guys uh, if you guys enjoyed my uh, reaction to this video be sure to press the like button and if you're not subscribed if you or if you're new to the channel uh, please consider subscribing because like you know i'm trying to expand my audience yeah and uh, also like uh, comment down below uh, anything you want to say or any suggestions anything in general i'll check all of the comments out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day